Okay, moving on to Boom or Bust. Week four, uh, Boom or Bust for fantasy football. Uh, we're going to go over seven players. I'm going to give the player, their opponent, their stats from last week, and then I will ask everyone if they think they will boom or bust in the coming week. Just for everyone in the chat, they're going to do their picks. I'm going to give my take at the end, but since there's three of them, it makes an odd man out. That way, if there is a tiebreaker, they can break the tie. Mm -hmm. First player we have is Mr. Leonard Fournette from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are playing the Kansas City Chiefs this week. They are playing in Tampa Bay. Last week, Leonard Fournette had 12 attempts for 35 yards and then five receptions for another 35 yards. So it wasn't a great outing last week. Um, other than that, he is running back 11 in fantasy football non PPR league. Tony, we're bust on Leonard Fournette in week four. I have him claimed on my fantasy, so I really want him to boom. But the way they stopped Jonathan Taylor, I highly doubt he's going to be able to do much, especially with 65 yards last week. Come on, I need, I need some help, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm going to say bust, unfortunately. Bust for Tony. Uh, Steven, what do you got? Boomer bust for Leonard Fournette in week four Leonard Fournette should have gone off last week because he was basically their only offense besides Tom Brady because they had no receivers to throw to last week so he should have gone off and that kind of worries me so I think I'm gonna go bust also okay we got I two just... for bust so far Casey you want to round us off here the Chiefs have a pretty good rush defense but Tampa Bay offensive line got weaker in the offseason because a lot of their players left mm -hmm. uh so I'm gonna say bust I don't think he's gonna be able to run through the Kansas City Chiefs run defense uh the the Chiefs are averaging 93 yard rush yards giving up a game right now. So, I mean, I'm going to say bust. Perfect. And just because Casey said that, he's going to blow up. And I thank you very much, Casey. You're he's welcome. to go for 200 rushing yards this game. <laughs> I cursed no, Tony's fantasy team, apparently. I actually uh, am going to agree with you guys on this. Um, I think, Casey, you made a good point in the Chiefs' defense being very stout. Here's my thing, though. Leonard Fournette, is a, he's a monster. Like, he is a big back, and he is a ground-and-pound running back. So I could see him playing really well against Kansas City, but I'll go ahead and I'll take bust with you guys. Uh, so we're busting for... Going to stop myself there. Leonard Fournette <laughs> is going to be a bust for this week. <laughs> uh, next player is Joe Burrow. Joey, Joey Ice. Ice. Joe Miami Burrow. versus the Bengals. It's in Cincinnati. Uh, Joe Burrow is QB number six in non-PPR fantasy football. And last week, he was 23 for 36 with 275 passing yards. He threw three touchdowns. Uh, he had a quarterback rating of 114.9. And he had a completion percentage of 63%. So, Casey, first one for Joe Burrow. Boom or bust? Uh, it's an easy boom. Easy boom. The, <laughs> the Dolphins defense has given up 297 pass yards a game. They're, just, they're not stopping Joe Burrow. They just they, they just went and kind of ran over the Jets a little bit. The Dolphins couldn't stop uh, Josh Allen last week. And, and they won the game, yes, but they got outplayed the entire game, essentially. So they scored more points, got outplayed, gave up over 400 pass yards. So that's an easy boom for me. Tony, you are next. Boomer bust for Joe Burrow. I am going to go with bust. Miami. Just like you said, their, their offensive line is trash. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm trash. The, the, the Dolphins defense is too good up front to be able to let him get a pass off. Um, so unless they figure out something with a run to open up, give him, give him a little more time, he's going to keep getting his ass sacked all night. Row to 115. <laughs> <laughs> the first two weeks of the season, though, the Bengals were tracking for 115 sacks on Joe Pearl for the season. Steven, you are next. You are the tiebreaker here because we have one boom and we have one bust. Joe Burrow going into week four against Miami. That offensive line is literally the reason why I'm going to say this. I think he's going to bust because that O-line just can't keep him in the pocket for long enough. I mean, he's Joe Burrow. He can, he can throw the ball fast, but he needs some time for the play to develop. And it's, it's just not fair. I'm going to say bust because, yeah, Miami got thrown on 60 times, but they got thrown on 60 times also. So I'm yeah, going to say bust. I, I'm going <laughs> to agree with Tony and Steven in this because of that offensive line. Uh, they could prove us wrong. I, mm -hmm. I think they have improved, and I think they've sorted some stuff out with that, uh, with that offensive line a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, they were supposed to be the biggest improved part of that team this year, and they're absolutely not. They might be worse. They might so, be actually worse. <laughs> yeah. To the third player we have for Boomer Buzz this week, we are going to the tight end position in Mark Andrews 
of the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens will be hosting the Buffalo Bills this week. Uh, last week, Mark Andrews uh, had eight receptions on 13 targets for 89 yards, two touchdowns. Steven, go ahead and start for Mark Andrews in week four, boomer bust against the Buffalo Bills. So Mark Andrews is a phenomenal red zone t- target. Boom. He gets a lot of fantasy points that way. Um, he's a big target uh, with the Bills possibly shorthanded again. I think he should have a pretty good game. So I'm going to go boom. Perfect. Short and sweet. Wonderfully said, Steven. Tony, boomer busts on Mark Andrews week four. I hate that he's on the Ravens, but Mark Andrews is so good. He's he's such a big part of the Ravens. Um <laughs> When, when Lamar's in a pickle and he's got nowhere to run, he's always going to go to Andrews. So I'm going to give him a, a boom, especially in such a tough competition coming up for him. Um, they're they're, they're going to be relying on him and that big body of him of his a lot. Casey, you want to round us off here? A boom or bust? Yeah, I do. Um, I think it's a boom. Uh, he's one of the best, four best tight ends in the league, if not the best, one of the best tight ends in the league. He finished his tight end sure. one last year. He is going to score points. Lamar's going to find him. He's going to throw to him. They're at home. Their crowd will be behind him. I think he's a boom. I like him in the end zone this week, too. I agree with you guys uh, in that. The only the only red flag for me this week, and I thought you guys were going to bite on it a little bit. I guess not. They're playing Buffalo. So, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a shootout of a game. But I think uh, the better defense will decide this game this week i, I do think That's buffalo I think. will win this game but i think the ravens can put up some points and i think mark andrews has to be a part of that so there you yeah. go so we are in full agreement on boom for mark andrews i'm just gonna do this position at a time now wink um so <laughs> we're gonna move into the running back position bust <laughs> all the running backs are trash this year all of them yeah it's kind of true <laughs> casey you can start this one he is your running back mr jonathan taylor of the indianapolis colts versus the tennessee titans this week it's already a boom will be hosting tennessee <laughs> uh jonathan taylor is still running back one in fantasy football i honestly don't know how because the colts haven't done shit but i guess that's all they're doing so last week jonathan taylor had 21 attempts for 71 yards uh rushing and he also had three receptions for 20 yards he did not see the end zone so casey i heard you already say it's a boom go ahead give your take it's jonathan taylor man he's running back one he's overall running back one from last year the titans are giving up 256 yards a game to opposing running backs this Titans team is trash, okay? I know they beat the Raiders last week, but fuck them. They're the Titans. I hate them. Go Colts. Jonathan Taylor's going to run all over them. Two touchdowns. Let's go. All right, after Casey's rant, Tony, what do you have? Boomer bust for Jonathan Taylor in week four. I mean, he he's pretty spot on. Um, the Colts haven't figured out how to do much except run, <laughs> unfortunately. So he's gonna they're going to be relying on him, especially with such an easy defense like the, the Titans, unfortunately. Um, so he should be booming this week. I don't know about two touchdowns because... They'll find a way to slow him down a bit, but I'll give him one. I'll give him one touchdown. We'll come back to this next it's week. The Two touchdowns. Yeah, we will. <laughs> next week. That's what he said about the Jags, and then we still have to get him a Jags jersey. <sighs> That's true. All right, Steven, round us out here. I can imagine what you're going to say, but let's go for it anyway. Jonathan Taylor is a really good running back. He Most of his yards this year have come from the Texans game because um, he didn't do anything last week against the Jags, and he almost didn't do anything against chiefs so that being said the titans defense is trash so boom <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah fuck the titans <laughs> i love you Steve. had you thinking had you thinking <laughs> yeah you got me there for a second i was like fuck he's gonna choose different <laughs> yeah i am pretty much in agreement with you guys i think the colts are that's the only thing they can do thus far their defense has not shown up their rest of their offense has not shown up including michael pittman on my fantasy team what a dick but uh <laughs> My only thing with this pick is the division rivalry. That game could be a fucking boring ass three to three uh, outing and Jonathan Taylor could do absolutely nothing in it. It could be a full blown defensive game. The game's not ending three, three in Indy. It's not ending three, three in Indy. It's not happening. (laughs) Five to three. three. There's no way. That's all I'm saying on that. Uh, There's been some weird scores this year already. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) <laughs> anybody can beat anybody in any given week in the nfl baby next player is it's mr james robinson running back from the jacksonville jaguars jacksonville travels into philadelphia this week to take on one of the only undefeated teams left in the league uh, i think there's only two now 
I think it's just the Eagles and uh, what the fuck is the other team? The Dolphins. I think that's it. Um, Jacksonville will travel into Philly this week, like I just said. James Robinson is running back 15 right now in non-PPR standings. Last week, he had 17 rush attempts for 100 yards on the dot. He had one touchdown and three receptions for 16 yards. Going into Philly this week could be a challenge for him, though, because Philly's run defense has been very stout this season. Their whole defense has been pretty stout. Let's go back to Steven to start this uh, for James Robinson, Boomer Bust in week four against Philadelphia. Yeah, that, that Eagles defense is showing up every week, and it's it's making us scared. But uh, Jacksonville might be a real thing, too. So this game, I mean, this this matchup could be a diff- tough one to pick up. Uh, I'm going to go bust just because I think the Eagles defense is just that much better. For Steven, Tony, what do you got? you smiling over there. I don't know. What, what, what do you got going I mean, my, my prediction was that the Eagles are en route to Super Bowl this year. They are doing very well. Um, I'm going to give him a big old bust. I know Casey didn't believe in the Eagles run defense and you and I have agreed that they are way better than they, than they look or that they were on paper, especially after week one, they've just been getting better. Um, if their secondaries could keep performing out there, they're, they're in good route to just take it all. Um, so I'm going to give them bust just cause the Eagles don't give up much on the run side these days. Yeah. I agree with you that that, that defense looks very stout and they look really scary and I'm very upset about it. Uh, Casey, go ahead. Boomer bust for James Robinson. So I'm really upset that they're using James Robinson as much as they are because I drafted freaking Travis Etienne on, on my draft on oh. my fantasy team. Uh, James Robinson points in PPR 19, 15 and 20 in three games. The Eagles shut down Dalvin Cook last week at home. Or two weeks ago, whenever that was. Um, I'm going to say bust. I think the Eagles will stop them at home. I don't think that he's I, I I don't I don't think he's gonna have a terrible outing. I'm still saying bust though. I think he's gonna have less than ten points. I think the Eagles stop him. Um if the Jaguars beat the Eagles, they're for real. Yeah. They're, yeah. Uh, we yeah. were all wrong about the Jaguars if if they compete and beat the Eagles in this game. I think the Eagles defense can stop James Robinson. So I'm gonna say bust. I think you guys are spot on with Philly's defense. Um this is definitely Jacksonville's proving week. It really is because Philly might be the best team in the NFC. Well, I want to say that they're the best team in the NFC as of right now. Mr. Drake London for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Cleveland will be storming into Atlanta this week. Oof. Uh, Drake London is wide receiver 20 right now, so he's probably a lot higher than he was expected. Uh, last week, he only had six targets. He caught three of them. Uh, for 54 yards and a touchdown. So not a bad stat line for only having six targets. Um, Casey, we will snake back to you for Drake London. Boom or bust. So Drake London, through his first few games, he played New Orleans, the Rams, Seattle. 12 fantasy points, 24 fantasy points, 14 fantasy points. Him and Kyle Pitts are this Atlanta offense. So who'd you say they play? They play Cleveland? Cleveland. At, uh, At home. They're in Atlanta. I'm going to say boom. Um, They're going to utilize. They have to utilize them to be Cleveland. Um, They're going to come in. Cleveland's going to come in off a good win over the Steelers. And they better not take this Falcons team lightly because they can definitely beat them. So Mm -hmm. this like I like you said earlier, this Falcons team is better than what we all thought. Like I like I said, I had them having four wins on the season. That looks like they might have more than that after their outings in the first three games could could easily be three and oh right now. But they're not. They're one and two. They almost came back against the Rams. They almost beat New Orleans. New Orleans had to kick a last second field goal. So they've been competing in their games. I like him to boom this week. They're going to have to utilize him. Him and Kyle Pitts are going to catch a lot of passes this week. Boom for Casey. Tony, what do you got for Drake London going into week four? I don't know about this one. Mostly because I haven't really seen the Falcons play play this season. The Browns defense wasn't that great. I mean, they were in a deadlock against offense that is struggling, which is mostly because of Trubisky right now. Great receivers can't complete a pass. And the Browns defense was still struggling to get them on three and outs at times. So I think I'm going to give them a boom just on that because I think that that secondary is not going to be able to keep up with him as a receiver, and especially with him being such a big target for him. Yeah, he's definitely going to be a huge target this week. Uh, I think this is a really, I want to say even matchup um, because 
both teams are not 100% complete, um, but what they do have, they're using very well. And I think both teams have, they, both teams have definitely surprised me this far uh, going in to week four. So far, we have two booms, Steven. We're bust. I, I'm, I'm kind of on the same boat Tony is. I haven't seen a lot of the Falcons um, this year, so I haven't been able to see what he can do. But just based off what you guys have been saying, um, him and Kyle Pitts basically being the Atlanta offense, they're not doing too bad. It's hit or miss for the Browns. So I'm going to say boom just because... We're going for a quadruple boom on this, guys. Quadruple boom. Because uh, I'm boom, booming boom, as boom, well. Boom. Don't want you in my room. Uh, <laughs> Drake well, London performed de decent, like I said last week. I mean, the thing that got me is he only had six targets. Uh, and on those targets, he averaged 17 yards per catch, and he had a touchdown. I'm going to take boom as well. Uh, Cleveland, like you said, very streaky. Uh, I think I like Atlanta going into this week. And Marcus Mariota is a slinger, man. He's a great quarterback. And honestly, I feel like he is a lot better than people think. Uh, I've, I've liked Mar Marcus Mariota his whole career. I just, he's been in bad situations and bad places, but he's, he's taken a bad situation and made it good. So uh, we'll take Drake London on the quad boom this week. <laughs> Last player for boom or bust in week four. Again, this is another tough matchup. Uh, in game because both teams are not proving their worth in any way, shape, or form. It is Mr. Jerry Judy of the Denver Broncos. Uh, Denver travels into Las Vegas this week to take on the Raiders. Uh, last week, Jerry Judy had a terrible outing. He only had two catches on six uh, attempts for 17 yards. That's it. That's his whole fucking stat line for last week. <laughs> so, what me a fantasy great. league. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he is wide receiver 37 after last week. Going into Las Vegas could turn the tide for him. I'm going to start with Steven again because I want Casey to round this one out. Go ahead, Steven. Boomer bust for Jerry Judy. Yeah, he played a really tough... I mean, the San Francisco defense is a good defense. So, I mean, they were going to... They were just going to cover him. And I'm going to say they are playing the Raiders at, at Las Vegas. The Raiders aren't as good as the 49ers on defense. So, I'm going to say... He has a breakout game and gets back to normal. So I'm going to say boom. Cool. Boom for Steven. Yeah. The, uh, the Denver offense is not anything what they should be as of right now, but long season. Yeah. Uh, long so season. Tony, what do you got? Boomer bust for Jerry Judy in week four. I am going to go bust just because that offense is struggling. And it, they have the quarterback for it. They have the arm. He just Russell Wilson can't, do what he's getting paid millions to do he mm. can't get the ball out there and that's because he has no pass protection so it's not completely his fault that's the thing um if there was a whole different situation like the Steelers where they have the line that's giving him time and he's just throwing trash out there like Trubisky it'd be a different story but not at, at this point he's just not getting the time to get it out to his receivers he's got no pass protection um the running game isn't doing much for him so it's not that offense isn't completely his his doing i know he's getting booed a lot but i don't see judy succeeding against the Ra the raiders unless they figure out how to give russell wilson a little bit of time um but the raiders pass pass defense is pretty decent so uh denver's offensive line is not decent so like you <laughs> said i mean russell wilson has not been able to do russell wilson things in denver so far uh and i think you hit that um spot on uh, i really like that take casey you will be the tiebreaker for this Jerry Judy in week four against the Las Vegas Raiders. Jerry Judy has disappeared into the Broncos offensive sadness. Like, what is this team right now? This team has not done anything. They won. They won last week. They won 11 to 10. And no, Russell Wilson, it was not a great game. That was not a good, uh, good showing. And everybody hated watching that game. Everybody wanted to gouge their eyes out. Anyway, I'm going to say bust. Um, this offense just hasn't done anything uh, at all. They're, they're playing the Raiders, who are going to be mad. It's yeah, in Vegas. Vegas. The Raiders crowd will be behind them. Uh, I'm going to say bust. I don't think Jerry Drew is going to do much of anything. Cortland Sutton is the receiver in Denver to watch. He's the guy that's catching all the passes. He's the guy that's catching all the balls. He's the guy that's getting in the end zone. So, bust. I don't really know. Like I said right now, like, okay, last week was an awful outing. Two for six for 17 yards. This is god awful. 1.7 points in fantasy. Three in PPR. Not ideal. Both of these teams are mediocre as fuck. Uh, so I don't know, like everybody expected the Raiders to be a lot better than they are. And everybody expected the Broncos offense to be a lot better than they are. So I think this game will 
be boring <laughs> to say the least uh but i think i'm gonna take jerry judy to boom yeah i think they figured it out a little bit this week i'm gonna take jerry judy to boom let's go over one more time real quick just a little run through through the seven players leonard fournette bust joe burrow bust uh mark andrews boom jonathan taylor boom james robinson bust drake london boom and jerry judy bust that's going to conclude boomer bust for week four guys 